talk about graphs of relations and functions, we need to distinguish the difference between discrete variables versus a continuous variable. So a discrete variable is when we have just discrete pieces. For example, an example here would be if we have drops of water, we, have, we can count the individual drops of water. Whereas if we have a continuous flow, right, it's hard to count the individual, uh, individual drops of water in that case. So basically a discrete variable can take on certain individual values. So on a number line, it can be like negative one, zero, one, but it does not take on values in between. A continuous variable is when we can take on all the values. So on a number line, it can take on all values from you know, negative one all the way to zero and every decimal in between. Okay? It's a continuous variable. So some examples of this would be a discrete variable would be like the number of people in a room. You cannot have two and a half people in a room. The number of pages in a phone book or in a book. We can't have 14 and a half pages in a, phone, in a book, okay? That doesn't really exist. So continuous variables are things that we can measure things like heights, okay? A person can be 51.380 inches tall. Temperature is continuous as well. We could have a temperature of, you know, 17.8 degrees Celsius, and we can have 17.814 degrees Celsius. So on a graph, the way we differentiate discrete data versus continuous data is discrete data we keep as separate dots. Okay, when we graph things, we often get you know, points along this graph. And if it's continuous, what we'll do is we'll con we will connect those dots. Okay? If it's discrete, we leave them as discrete dots like this. And that's how we are going to differentiate graphs with discrete variables versus graphs with continuous variables.